How's everybody doing today? So today we are playing Frostpunk, but we're not playing our regular Frostpunk playthrough. We're actually playing the new scenario, The Fall of Winterholm. So in our most recent episode of our actual Frostpunk playthrough, um, Frostpunk, um, Frostpunk released a new uh, scenario, The Fall of Winterholm, and in our last episode we discovered that Winterholm, the city we were trying to find, has indeed fallen. Um, this scenario, however, lets you take over from a key point in Winterholm's history and try to guide it forward so that nobody, so that the city doesn't actually fall. Um, I did play through it, or not completely play through it, I played about an hour of it just to get a vibe for it, and I tried to originally, you know, record that blind, but as it turns out, um, as it turns out, there was just a whole mess with the recording and everything, and I've been sick for a long time, unfortunately, so recording YouTube videos has been very difficult, but this is going to be my first video back, um, it's good to be back, and I love Frostbuck, and I want to play it for you guys, and I hope you guys, this, I hope playing this scenario will give you guys an insight into what we're doing in our other playthrough as well, uh, what we're trying to do is we're trying to make a better life for the people in our other town, but for this one, it might be a little harder. The fall of Winterholm. We've built our city to survive the long winter. Now we have to fight against time to save it, and our lives from impending doom. Let's start. To whoever is out there, if anyone, know that we were here, we did our best. We, the survivors, doomed by our own mistakes, aware of the risks and the price to pay. We took our last chance. And we failed. The fall of Winterhome. Our generator is malfunctioning. After our leader ignored the problem for weeks, unbearable cold and brutal repression drove us to rise up against him. He didn't go down without a fight, and half the city was burned to the ground in the fighting. With the generator hastily patched up, your first task as a new leader is to restore Winterholm and convince people it has a future. Then you'll be able to investigate the cause of the generator malfunctions. Proceed. And everything is on fire. Very low texture and resolution fire, but fire nonetheless. We got a beacon. I see a warehouse. Right, let's do it. Restore the city. Our people are suffering in this badly planned, starving, half-ruined city. You have to restore their hope and quell their discontent. For a start, remove the charred ruins to show that the city is recovering. Our engineers will inspect the generator once you deal with the present crisis. Okay, this is the definition of a crisis. We have... Nobody's working. Nobody's doing anything. 535 out of 580 people right now. We're allowed to employ kids for some reason. Um, my cat is climbing on my chair again. And our hope is bottomed out. Our discontent is super high. These little white bars here are where we have to get them. Uh, in order to restore the city. We have to activate the generator, do this. We have to remove 30 of these ruins. We have to raise hope to 50%, and we have to reduce discontent to 25%. Okay, bump up the steam level by one. 
Uh, 85 of our people died, good to know. Uh, not my people, I was not in control then. I have nothing to do with that. We're going to get workers in our public house so people are happier. Our discontent went down. Um, we are going to put five people in our... We're going to get people in our medical posts ASAP because we do have people who are very sick. Uh, let's get engineers in there. Uh, Hunter's Hut, Max. Uh, I know what Hunter's do game. It's okay. Thank you for letting me know. We are going to... Because this town is so spread out, one thing I notice is that we're going to need to, um... We're going to need to, uh... We're going to need to, one, put some research into steam hubs, and we're going to need to research, um, generator upgrades. So our first thing is going to be to research a 10% less coal burning generator. We're going to put people here on the coal thumper. We're going to put the maximum amount of people there. Maximum amount of people there. I'm going to try to limit, um, how many kids work the really hard jobs. Uh, they can work on a, I'll put five kids on the, um, five kids on the gathering post. Look, in our city, back in our original playthrough that we're still playing, um, we're never going to use kids. I refuse to use kids, but this city just doesn't feel that way. So, because we have the workforce, we're going to use them. That's terrible, but it must be done. Let's go ahead and put, uh, we don't... Is there even anything within range of this? Yeah, there's no gatherable resources, so let's dismantle this building. Um, uh, let's put as many people as we can on the coal thumpers. Hunter's Hut. Max out that. Max out that. Uh, max out the cookhouse. And... What is this? Is this a medical post? Yeah, this is a medical post. Okay. And now we have to assign people to work destroying these ruins. Max out that. Max out that. Um, we're going to be focusing on expanding near where all the people are. So let's go ahead and max out that. Luckily, all these ruins will give us some level of resources. Still, it's terrible that there was a gigantic war fought here. But at the same time, we do benefit a little bit from it. Ah, man. I am. I feel like a terrible human being. Uh, yes, we are benefiting from other people's deaths. We're just going to... Alright, I'm sorry, kiddies. You gotta, you, gotta, you gotta work. Gotta sift through the woods and stuff. Oh, God. This is terrible. I'm assigning children to pick up the corpses of everybody who died. I am such a wonderful leader. Go me. Okay. Yeah, we, we, um, we got plenty of workers available. We just gotta make sure they're all, uh, they're all good to go. Everybody's doing okay. Good times. I don't know what's going on. Awesome. And now I think we might be good to start. Yeah, as you can see, we have a we have a convoy actually that will um, that will bring coal to our city. Like they'll they're, they're bringing coal and they're dropping it off here at our outpost depot, and they'll um uh, they'll bring us coal, which will fill up our coal depot. We also um we don't actually have any scouts. We need um we need five citizens. So let's take a. Uh, Let's take some workers off, put some engineers on, um, and let's make a... We need 40 wood. We'll get that soon. Good times, guys. Good times. Um, yeah, we don't need that gathering post. Uh, we need uh, storage near capacity. Okay, so we have plenty of uh, food rations. So let's go ahead and uh, get some workers off of here. Let's put them on this ruin. Awesome. Awesome. We're doing okay. We're doing okay. We're kitties. Go ahead and... Go ahead and uh, grow up a little bit, because we need you to do your part. <laughs> oh, God. Alright, plenty of people working on that one. There's so many ruins that it doesn't matter where you assign them, as long as you um, uh, as long as you have people working on them. Now, we are uh, technically running out of where are, we are technically running out of coal, but that's because we okay, people are, people are, people are very, very, very cool. People are very cool. Um, we, we ha we're, we're running out of coal, but that's because nobody's working the coal thumpers right now. Once we have people who are working the coal thumpers, the work day hasn't started. That's when we'll be okay. And we've got coal coming in from... Let me just, uh, let me see. Can I select the coal pile yet? As you can see, we have all of our citizens just wandering about doing their things. They're chilling. Okay, let's assign people there. Um, okay, we're going to have to, uh... 
we're going to have to assign some people off of here. Sorry, kitties. Uh, you're going to have to sift through some coal. It's not very sanitary, but I appreciate your sacrifice. You're the best. Love you. Um, kind of. I don't know how much I can love you if I'm making you work. Uh, I feel terrible. Let's go ahead and put you on, put these engineers on this coal pile. Uh, we really need to focus on coal production because as it is in our other city, coal production is key to success. The generators have been activated. Our hope is still low, but our discontent did go down quite a bit. Uh, what are you guys waiting on? What are you guys waiting on? Storage is full. Storage is full. Well, how about we pull this and we build food resources, a resource depot. And therefore, you'll be able to give me more coal. Let's speed the day up. Uh, hopefully people get over there and work on that. Yeah, yeah, people are working on that. Awesome, awesome. Oh, we have a note from somebody. What's up? Child injured at work. A child got distracted at work and has been injured. The accident was not serious and happened entirely due to the child's carelessness. Give this kid a day off. I'm not going to scold a kid for doing the job I didn't want him to do in the first place. There we go. Let's assign coal. And we just had 900 coal deposited straight into our into our resource count. Um, do we have enough? We don't have enough workers, unfortunately, to make up... Um, to make any more, to make another scout unit. Where can we sacrifice people? Not sacrifice people, you know what I meant. Um, do we not, is there anything that we don't need, period? We can take workers off here and assign them here because there's plenty of nice coal here that we can, that we can dig up and put into our resources. Uh, it's going to take a while before these ruins to go down, so this is the process. Uh, I, I really, uh, I find this interesting just because of how, uh, let's go ahead and assign a law. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's go ahead and, do. we haven't done radical treatment or sustained life, which is going to be important for us to do. Let's go ahead and do moonshine. <coughs> 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 Excuse me, I had to cut just there because I was coughing up a lung. It's great. Um, there we go. Sign Moonshine to the law. I think that raised our hope a little bit. Our generator efficiency upgrade works research successfully. That's great. Let's, uh... Let's do... Huh. What can we do here that, that will benefit us? Let's go ahead and upgrade our medical posts. Because we do still have uh, 20 sick and 11 gravely sick, we do not want those guys to be there for a while. We need more people to, we need more people to work. Storage near capacity of wood. Let's go ahead and build. First, let's go ahead and build another road. This will be like our little area where we put um, where we put our storage depots, resource depots. I mean, there we go. Put that there. Speed it up. Have people work on that. Oh, we have a note from somebody. Cold homes. Captain, some of our people are concerned about the low temperatures in their homes. They quite sensibly point out that it's easy to fall ill when it's cold and ask you to address the problem. Okay, so we're going to do the let's heat some homes. But as you guys can see, if we try to do it right now, um, it's going to get cold in the morning, as you guys can see on the temperature uh, prediction up there. It's going to get cold in the morning. So if I were to turn on the generator to like level 3 right now and... Everybody's hopes will be livable. As soon as it goes down, I'm going to fail that quest because everybody thinks I failed them. Uh, as you can see, our citizens aren't very smart. So we're going to avoid doing that for now. We're going to wait for morning. Um, let this build, let this build, let this build. Awesome. We're going to dedicate wood to that because we're getting plenty of wood from all these, uh, all these ruins that we're tearing down. Um, let's go ahead and check the heat map. We have a lot of people living here. A lot of people living here, all of those houses are chilly. Uh, we have people living here, those houses are chilly. People living here, those houses are chilly. Um, we're going to want to build a bunch of steam hubs. That's what I'm thinking. We're going to want to bump up the generator and see what happens. Let's speed up, go through the night. Our sick, our sick count is increasing because of course it is. We're almost through the night, almost through the night, guys. Nobody gets sick, nobody gets sick. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's only a little bit of frostbite. A little bit of frostbite. Oh. The writing's on the wall for our captain. Fuck you. 
protective mother, let her have a day off. So basically, that was just like, my mom didn't want to send her to work, so I... I, I've, I've been through the first hour of this or so, so I know all the different beats that are going to happen, and um, it's just uh, like there's a lot of there's a lot of elements to this that just make it cr like brutally difficult. So far, we're doing fine though. Okay, more people died, guys. Guys, it's okay. It's okay. Now it's getting really cold. God, this is just going great, isn't it? Boom! Did that do anything? No, it didn't. Oh, God. Did I fail them? No, I didn't. Okay, I didn't fail them. Um, so, bumping up the generator for some reason doesn't do anything. We have two days to raise hope to 15%. That's that white bar right there. Um, guys, stop dying, okay? Stop dying. There's nothing I can do. There is literally nothing I can do. You, you need to stop dying. This is a very effective method of getting your people healthy and such. Just yell at them to stop dying. Uh, okay, so we are going to build a bunch of steam hubs because we need to... Where are they? They're in the tech, right? Steam hub here. Steam hub here. Steam hub here. There we go. That's three steam hubs. Uh, that's going to be a... I get that our people are dying. It's okay. We have a corpse pit somewhere. I did just say that. Don't, don't question it. Um, let's see. We need to take people off of the ruins and focus them on gathering up coal. Because we have a high need for coal. A very high need for coal. Because these coal thumpers are going to kill people. What did I just say? Stop dying. People are very desperate. Uh, oh, hey. Another, another note. A voice in the ruins. Oh god, sir people have heard a child's voice coming from the wreckage. A child has survived the terrible night of destruction when half of Winterholm burned. So many lives were lost in the blaze and fighting. We can't let this child die too. Absolutely not. No, we can't. Everybody, work as fast as you can. Okay, we, we just got four uh, wood ruins depleted. Awesome. Uh, some ruins cleared. People have noticed the ongoing effort to clear the city of ruins. And they appreciate it. A lot remains to be done, of course, but winter home already seems to be breathing a little easier. I'm glad to hear it. Hope will rise slightly. Awesome. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're making progress in making sure that this city does not go anywhere and that we all... If people would stop dying, that would be very helpful. Please. All of our gravely sick are gone now because they're all dead, though, so that's positive, I guess. Oh, man, I'm a terrible leader, aren't I? Um... Let's go ahead and uh, put as many people as we can on here. All right, kitties, you guys want to work? That'd be great. Um, I'm a terrible person. We should um, make sure that we get as many ruins that are right next to the um, that are right next to the generator away as possible because we need that area because that's our warmest area. We need to put important buildings there, such like that. Uh, we have about 16 hours before we can pass a new law. I think I'm going to go the way of order like we did in our actual playthrough. Mild fro. Why is 18? Why are 18 people suddenly gravely sick? Uh, frostbite. Um, one of our people has become gravely ill due to frostbite. This will keep happening if people have to work in such cold. We must do something. Consider citing the radical treatment or sustained life law. Yeah, I was going to do that anyways. Um, can we do it right now? Yeah, we have to wait 15 hours to sign a new law, like I just said. So we will wait to do that. What's up? Divided in death. Sir, we've noticed that the dead in the snow pit have been divided into two heaps. In one lie the victims of the fires and the brutal attempts to pacify the riots, many with gunshot wounds. On the other, the charred corpses of the perpetrators, the previous leaders, and his men. Some people talk about throwing them out of the city, far away from decent folk. Um, get this filth out of our city, we'll make discontent fall. They've already paid for their crimes. Hope will rise. We need hope to rise. And I do believe they've already paid for their crimes with their lives. And that is okay. We do not need to keep punishing people. We just need to move forward and use our children to clear ruins. What? Um, okay. So far, um, things are going about as good as you could expect them to. Uh, we've, our coal thumpers are doing their job. We have... We just upgraded our medical post, which is awesome. Um, can we do the infirmary? A 
of steam heat. Yeah, we need an infirmary because right now things are not going very well. Boom. We're researching an infirmary. An infirmary will get these sick numbers to stop falling. I think we've lost 11 men. Oh, hey! A bunch of ruins are getting cleared. This is great. We have plenty of people to work. Maximum. Can we, um... Let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and uh, make another scout... Make a scout team. Because we would very much like, um... We would very much like to, uh... Very much like to get people going. Yeah, scout team. Go ahead and go. We're going to the windswept snowfield first. See if we can find anything there. Let's get people to clear these cold, cold ruins. Uh, do we have coal? Yeah, we have about two days worth of coal, so let's go ahead and build another... Let's go ahead and build another steam hub. Where would be important? Where are the most people cold? Probably over here. And we'll just... We'll, we'll build around... We'll build around these um, steam hubs when we eventually have everything figured out. Once we have everything cleared away. Just so that we can... Um, uh, just so that we can utilize our coal producing, our heat producing buildings and uh, tiles effectively. What's here? Right, let's get as many people working on clearing these ruins as possible. We have 19 cleared so far. If we can keep focusing on that, that's another goal completed. Now we're at 21 ruins depleted. This is, we're going, we're doing fine. We're doing fine. Yeah, 33 people are seriously sick. This is not good. We need, we still have 11 hours before we can pass any law that will help them, which is disappointing, but at the same time, what are you going to do? There's a good chance, guys, that we actually, um, that we actually, uh, unfortunately, did we not? Heat map. What? The, guys, if, if. If these, if these steam hubs, if these steam hubs aren't providing you heat, there's literally nothing I can do. I can try to, does that help? No, it doesn't. That doesn't help. There's nothing that I can do. There's literally nothing that I can do right now because the steam hub isn't doing it. The, the, the generator does, the range isn't affecting anything. God, this might, this might be going very badly, very quickly. Uh, can we overdrive it? No, we have to keep it going for two days, so... Mm, uh, I don't know, guys. I don't know what we can do. This is really difficult. The heat is... We're just not generating enough heat. If you look, like I just said, these steam hubs just are not heating these homes. Something's gonna have to give. I... Okay, you know what? I think we're going to have to stop research on the infirmary and do a hub range increase. Can I stop researching this? Yeah, I'll board that. That's fine. And it goes to the steam pump range increase because we need heat. If we don't have heat, these people are going to revolt again. And Winter Home's going to fall. Winter Home's going to fall again. Um. Ah, uh, this was. The, uh, <laughs> now we have. Now we have even more sick. Oh God. We're about to be able to sign radical treatment into law. Um. Can we do it? Can we do it? Okay, now we can. We need radical treatment. We need radical treatment right now. Radical treatment signed. There we go. Okay, radical treatment Listen, signed into law. Everyone. New law is signed. Okay. Yes, we have to resort to this because it's freezing cold and 135 of my people are sick. And I'm tired of people dying. No more dying. Scouts have reached the wind sweat. Get going. A distinct I spot in Frostland. We could use it as a waypoint for further exploration. Uh, there's nothing here, um, but we did find the location of the rusting hulk. Let's go ahead and go there. Uh, if our city is still alive to see it, that'd be nice, but I don't think it will be. We accidentally assigned people away from the ruins with the people trapped in there. Oh god. That's not good. It's depleted. Okay. Oh, Christ. Guys, I think we're in crisis mode right now. We are in crisis mode. There's nothing that can be done to keep it there. Because we have to... 
We have to not only make the homes have livable conditions, but we have to keep it there for two days. So this is not going very well. Um, oh man. I'm just wondering what we can do. Can we... Hold on guys, let me look at the buildings that we have. How are we going to be able to... We could build houses. But yeah, let's build some houses. But that's, that's the last thing that I can think of. Like... It's using up resources. Uh, but... Not enough steel, that's fine. Let's go ahead and speed through it. These houses need to be constructed, and maybe that'll do some positive thinking. Uh, double ra rations for kids in the wake of recent child workers accident. Um, the parents argue that we could give working children double rations to make them stronger and help prevent injuries. Good idea. Hope will rise. Awesome. We're almost there. We're almost there. Houses, please do something. I mean, that kind of helps. We're getting there. People are dying. Okay. Do less harm. Oh, this this was available in the other playthrough as well. In, in our playthrough that we're doing right now in the main game. Sir, a doctor wants to talk to you about improving radical, tre radical treatment. I was a field surgeon in the Boer War and worked with the Royal Society to reduce the rate of limb loss in army hospitals. I believe I can devise a method that will cut the number of amputations during radical treatment. Give him what he needs, absolutely. Okay. We have successfully gotten rid of 30 ruins. That's good. Most ruins cleared. Well done. Hope will rise slightly. Did we get there? Oh, we're so close, guys. No. Oh, no. No, no, no. Stop, stop. Game, stop. Oh, f oh shit. Guys, we are in a very desperate situation. A very dire situation. I... I... I there's a good chance we genuinely fail this. This could be... A, this could be the first time we've ever failed to play Frostbunk. And I know this is going to happen because Frostbunk can be a very excruciatingly difficult game. But, oh god, I mean... Overdrive. We gotta do it. Overdrive. Okay, we just gotta... Oh damn it, that didn't work. <laughs> Uh, people are dying. People are dying, and that's not doing anything. Um, healthcare installation that'll help. We have to. We have to be very careful because. Okay. So, hold on, British guy. One of the things that I haven't told you guys about is overdrive. Overdrive basically lets you lets you increase the heat level of like every building in your city but if you do it for too long the generator explodes like straight up explodes game over so we have to do it for the next 12 hours or else we're screwed and guys i don't think we're gonna be able to make it i don't think we're gonna be able to raise hope high enough uh let's just see what happens what's up more sick beds needed, I will open a new medical post. Yeah, why not? I mean, anything that they need, I'm gonna try my damnedest to get to them because we're just in pure crisis mode. And this hurts. I really, really wish there was another alternative. I wish we were able to just do more. Uh, let's build more houses as well. Keep upgrading things, keep upgrading things, resources, food. Is there anything that will, like, make people happier? Yeah. If they can go go to fights. <laughs> let's let's build a Why not? Let's build a let's build a fighting arena. <laughs> uh, okay, I think the generator might last through the night, I think. Um Hope rises. 
Alright, so basically everything but hope is okay, and hope is the one that's gonna end the game for us. We have eight hours. We have eight hours before we... Oh, Christ. Neighborhood watch. Actually, you know what? For the purposes of this, so basically what I'm trying to do is... The purpose branch, if you guys remember, in the, in the other playthrough, is you can either go through the path of order, which will allow you to do the neighborhood watch, everybody will watch over each other, or you can do religion, which will go down, which will start with the house of prayer, where you can build churches, you can build, you can build a cleric force, you can do all sorts of cool stuff. Because we're not doing uh, religion in our other playthrough, let's go ahead and do it here. Um, houses of prayer me, will be built. Me. New law in the city. Let's go ahead and build two whoop, build two houses of prayer. Uh, let's see, where can I where can I build one? Yeah, okay. There's one and there's one. All right, let's just hope and pray that we're able to somehow raise hope. Hope rises. Hope is almost there. Hope is almost there. Um, we're almost. We're so close, guys. We're so close. We just need to make it to the morning, wait for it to get warmer, and then we can turn off overdrive. What do you guys need? First amputation. Um, we must do something. Sign the prosthetics law. I have to wait one day and six hours, guys. I can't sign a new law right now, but I will sign prosthetics eventually. We'll get there. Uh, I'm, I'm in panic mode. Oh, Christ. This is not good. Uh... And people are hungry. This is this is just a really bad combination, you know? This is not good. Oh man. Literally hope is gonna kill us in two hours. Hope is gonna kill us in two hours, God. Yeah, I think this is it. This is it, guys. 32 seconds. It's over. It's over. That was a good first run, but we failed. We failed. band of grim men escorts you under the generator. The waiting crowd is silent. People observe you as you pass, their faces blank as though, you, as though they were watching snowfall. You are summarily judged and spared the death sentence in recognition of your efforts. You are banished from the city instead. I did my best. Okay, so that was the fall of Winter Home scenario. Uh, for some reason, we just couldn't get hope to rise enough. Probably because we had so many people dying so suddenly. I, excuse me, I am not going to be um, giving up on this, though. I am going to try this again. We're going to have our attempt to coming in a few days. And, yeah, I'm looking forward to that very much because I want to succeed at this. And I really love the game Frostpunk, and you guys have been such a good audience. So, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video and you enjoyed watching me suck at Frostpunk, please give it a like and subscribe for more videos to come. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.